His attempt at a, 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 a fine loser's run will be underway, but Captain Andrew, I'm sure, not any intentions to make this easy. Uh, usually actually piloting Sonic. Now, we know uh, Ally, up in, he's got his up and downs with Sonic, right? Yeah. But, you know, the, the main marquee matches I've seen this guy in against Sonic's, uh, like, uh, like Wrath and Como, man. He's always just made some kind of crazy comeback when all hope seems lost. So let's see uh, if, if he does find himself in that kind of position, if he'll be able to uh, do something like that. Or will Captain Andrew surprise us and be victorious here? I mean, it's, it's all down to, to allies and nerves at this point in time, which kind of happens to be the the tail of a Sonic matchup. It's usually, it really does come down hey. to nerves. Like, oh, he's done. Yep, yep. Well, uh, yep. uh, well, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else could I do, you know? Yeah, I appreciate that about Captain Andrew, too, because he kind of shared him. He, he, he knew we shared in the moment there. Yeah. So, uh, hard way to lose that first dog, but that's not going to dictate everything. Let's see? Uh, almost flashbacks okay. to Paragon right there. I was going to say, right? <laughs> uh, all I'm waiting for was the, the trademark head nod. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to 6WX. Where's he been? Oh, I, 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 I have not seen that man in quite some time. We see a lot more signs coming up, but mm. the, oh, what a quick duck. Ow. Yeah, Carter Matthews was trying to jump off that ledge, but you know, that hitbox on uh, Sonic's force match is actually deceptively large. Oh, definitely. Yeah. All right, so despite, I mean, what was clearly a uh, you know, rough way to kick things off, Captain Andrew still very much so in this match. Uh, it was a hot start for, it for was. Ally, but he managed to bring himself right back into it. So, either way, good stuff to Captain Andrew. Not going to allow that first stock mishap to really d dictate the rest of this game. But That's now, how you got to play it. Yeah, now That's Ally, you have to play it. even though he got the stock off of Ally, he's really not uh, letting up at this point in time. Already got the 98% on him. Finally got a, a couple of straight extra hits. Oh, what? <laughs> Made that whole combo up. <laughs> Definitely had that one in the replay. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to wait and uh, just hit him with the up smash. Yeah. But went for the grab. So one good hit away from victory is Ally. Not looking to let this lead get, escape him. As we saw against Brosnex, and it looks like that will not be the case. Up smash catching him coming up that stage. Yeah, I wonder why he went past the ledge, though. He like, did go pretty high. Yeah, no, he, I mean, he, he purposely went past the ledge, or maybe he uh, up too early so he wasn't able to grab the ledge right there. But regardless, yeah, he went past the ledge, just kind of gave up that that up smash two allies, so. Captain Captain Andrew, though, can't really count him out. He did lose that first stock super early and still managed to bring uh, take a stock off of allies. So let's see what he can do yeah. here now that he has two full stocks. Hopefully he doesn't have the same thing happen to him that happened in that first game. And yeah, that, cape, that. that cape sometimes uh, of Mario can be a very undervalued tool, but it is just so potent when you find moments like that. I mean, at, at any given point, you know, depending on how, how you set somebody up, you can take a stock as low as like 30 with that, right? Just turn yeah. him around on a good recovery. And we've seen Ali do that plenty of times. So Captain Andrew are not going to be exception to that rule. But again, game at number two, fresh set of stocks to work with. It looks like the same old ally coming at your face. I mean, he's definitely coming at your face right now. Coming at your face and your stocks if you keep it, keep this uh, gameplay up. But either way, 75-34, not too much of a deficit here for Captain Ooh, Andrew. really good. He has, to, has to watch himself here, though. Uh, you know, with this platform, with this platform layout, you can see Sonic actually get a couple of earlier kills yep. just by putting the spring or getting a throw at the top and getting that spring up here. Possibly even the, the spring ride. We've seen, uh, you know, Supergirl Kells kind of. I was gonna say quite a bit. I was gonna say I remember seeing Kells there, uh, you know, quite a few times. So this stage is very good for Sonic, hence the counter pick. Yeah. For Andrew, go? however, the ally just complete and total coverage of that top platform, just laying down the law. He's one stock away from continuing his run throughout this tournament. Like, I'm not sure if Captain Andrew actually uses up B, but I, I feel like he had another chance to kind of get away from that. He kind of let that one go. Maybe not expect an ally to throw out the up smash, but I mean, it's ally. Like, I don't right. <laughs> like, maybe it's, these other Sonics won't do that, but... <laughs> there's one thing, I mean, you should, there's one thing you should expect from ally, man. It's, it's oh, yeah. definitely the up smash. Right now, the lead is firmly in control for Ally. You see him going for those up Bs, trying to snake off a stock himself. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like he fell right into the trap. It's like the bear trap was on there, and he was like, what if I put my foot in it? Well, the thing for Andrew is, is he has to play from behind, right? So yeah. he has no choice but to go up there and kind of just try to knock Ally off or just challenge him in those situations. And Ally just kind of having a little bit of fun, just kind of experimenting, like, oh, what can I get off of this in this particular situation? Should I need it down the road? I'm like, in that mode, though, like, he does have the option to harass under the platform just by, you know, doing up airs. 
Uh, if he lands on the ground and things like that. He, he went straight to Ally's face. Right. Definitely expected to get grabbed. Mm. Oh, I love that movement from Ally. My yeah. goodness. He's all over these when platforms. When he gets moving, man, it is poetry in motion. Okay, another F smash. I mean, he's ran into like all three of them, but he still has not taken the stock yet. F smash looking extra stale. Ally's trying to land safely. Does it? Well, all right. He <laughs> does so with the up B. I think Ally's having a bit of fun. Firmly in control. However, Andrew, enough fun and games on his part. He said, let me go ahead and get rid of that stock and just try and make something happen. He just walked up slowly. And down smashed. Like, that's real. That is a real Like, we're really doing that right now. I mean, come on, man. I mean, if he would have taken the stock, I would have. <laughs> shout out to Scar, right? <laughs> <laughs> Still inspiring the youth to, to this day. Ooh. Okay, that was the spring ride. He was close. I, I mean, if he would have taken the stock, that would have been another one of those games where Ally was in the lead. Right. And just happened to get it stolen from him. The spring ride was there. However, he was not able to get the up air at the top. And how, if you're Ally, how demoralizing would that feel, right? Yeah. Just let that one go in and be facing down uh, game three with the tournament life on the line. So he's definitely looking to close things out in this game, and he will do just that. Some very patient but yet effective play from Ally is going to get him that dub. Captain Andrew, a good effort. Definitely showed us something. Even despite, you know, how